and welcome back to my channel. Okay, I feel like I've said this in so many videos now that it's getting redundant, but we really do have something exciting today. But exciting, especially for my Magical Girl fans, especially the ones that are more into the Magical Girl series that they've grown up with. I don't know, let's say Sailor Moon, let's say Tokyo Mew Mew, let's say, I don't know, maybe Shugo Chara. Today we are unboxing, well, I lied. I kind of already took it out of the box, but we are going over the Shugo Chara Nendroid by the one and only good smile company i am not this is a physical box i am not this is not an illusion i'm not fucking with you right now we have <laughs> we have a shugo chata merch um the reason why i did unbox her is a of course i was way too excited to like not unbox her the minute i got her but also b because i want to try this i'm gonna try to unbox my figures before i film just so i feel like just because I feel like it gives me more time to actually take it in. So I, I thought actually unboxing the figure and, you know, sitting with it for a moment uh, would help me give a better review. But if you don't like that, please let me know and I will go back to just unboxing it on camera if that's what you prefer. But anyways, um, without further ado, let's talk about Amu's Nendroid. Okay, please make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, and let me know what you think. I'm going to show you the box uh, just so I can show you all the different poses you're able to display her in and the different like accessories she comes with. So first up, we have a smiling face and she's like forming this heart shape with her hands and that's when she's getting ready to transform, I believe. Next up, she's got this kind of like cool attitude. I don't really remember what the pointing was for, if that was something in the series that I should be remembering, but Either way, I think the main the main attention grabber on this position or this pose is her attitude. I love Amu's attitude and I will I will get to talking about Amu and her as a magical girl uh, specifically in a moment because I really do want to talk about that and um, yeah. Okay, so here we have her holding one of the eggs and then we have another very, very iconic, sassy attitude look. On the back, we've got just this really cute, kind of also boring pose. And then we have this embarrassed look, I guess. I guess it's an embarrassed look. And she's all blushy. And she's got the other two eggs. And then we already saw that one. So as you can see, those are the face plates and those are the poses you can have her in. Now, the pose I chose for her is this pose, this iconic pose that she has. This is like one of the reasons why I really do love Amu too. It's because she's not, her personality at least, is not the typical main character magical girl personality, right? Where they're all bubbly or they're like, she is a bit of a klutz, but on the outside she shows herself as more for lack of a better term aloof maybe and very uh very distant she just does not look approachable uh, on the outside but if you watch the show you know that's not true at all and she that's actually something she struggles with she's just got a case of resting bitch face i guess all in all which girl me too so that ultimately is why i went with uh, posing her in this way because it's just so iconic and it's so unique to other uh, magical girl main character personalities. Now there are magical girls that have this type of attitude too but I feel like it's never or it's rarely ever the main character. It's usually like her friends or whatnot. Like in Sailor Moon you could say it's like Mars right but, but it's not Usagi herself. Here we go let me go ahead and show her to you here she is look how adorable there are some things i i take issue with uh with this figure which of course i'm going to point out but overall i do want to say i am absolutely in love with her i i am i this is so exciting to be holding amu <laughs> right now okay so before i get into the stuff i like i'm just going to point out uh, the stuff I don't really like. I will say 
I think there's like only maybe three things that I don't really like. So the first thing is actually something that I hadn't noticed when I first got her, but somebody else had pointed out on uh, her My Figure Collection page and it's her leg warmers. Her leg warmers originally in the series are supposed to match the same uh, plaid pattern as her skirt and that's just not here. It's not translated on here. Here she only has plain leg warmers and it's a bit of a disappointment because I feel like along with Amu's personality and it being so unique in this magical girl genre for a main character, I think so are her clothes and her and her fashion sense. I feel like the main reason Amu, and correct me if I'm wrong, but at least for me, I feel like the main reason Amu popped up so much or stood out as a magical girl is because of her outfit. Her personality is unique from the typical magical girl main character. They usually wear very light outfit in terms of fashion sense. Amu has this very rocker, very 2000s, like it's so, there is a word for this style and I am blanking out on it, but I hope you know what I mean. <laughs> I don't know, she's got the Avril Lavigne look. For a lack of a better comparison and a lack of a better term, she's got the Avril Lavigne look and I'm digging it. And she's a character you would see at the time popping up on those like aesthetic Tumblr pages, Pinterest, all of that, all of that, maybe even MySpace. That is Amu's outfit and Amu in a nutshell, what she brings, her aesthetic. So all that to say, <laughs> I really do care that the leg warmers don't have the same pattern as her skirt. Moving on. <laughs> uh, kind of taking a break from the design of the actual figure. I do want to point out that I'm a little bit disappointed that we got the eggs instead of, instead of them hatched as their characters. I'm blanking out on the names of all the eggs names when they're hatched. But uh, I kind of wish, I, I do wish they were hatched. I don't know, I guess maybe it does make sense that they're not, they're unhatched eggs because she's in her school uniform and not transformed. But I highly doubt that we're going to get each iteration of her transformed as each egg, like the blue, the green, and the red or pink. I feel like Good Smile Company would not give us that satisfaction. And also I feel like it would be repetitive. Maybe they would like choose the most popular transformation and then have all three eggs hatch too. But I, I kind of just don't see that happening. I also would rather have another character sculpted because I, I really do hope that this gives us the chance to get an Ikuto Nendroid. I kind of doubt it, but I mean, I, I didn't think we'd get an Amu Nendroid, so I guess never say never, right? Last thing that I'm kind of disappointed on, not as much as the leg warmers though, but it's the shading on the hair. There's very little to none at all, but I will say the sculpt of her hair makes up for it tremendously. Her hair sculpt, again, is very, very true to the time she was made and her and of course, it's translated exactly uh, as it looks from the anime. But again, they went with those like thin strands and she's got that like beautiful poofy ponytail with a ton of strands hanging out. And it's, it's just taking me back to that time, again, like I said, where this kind of anime art style and manga art style was popular and you'd see them on Pinterest, you'd see them on Tumblr, whether you watched the show, whether you knew the character or not. I am obsessed with it. The uh, little X on her scrunchie is a little bit weirdly sculpted on there, but I think it's pretty hard to even, I mean, it, it's blocked out by the ponytail, so it doesn't really matter as much. That's kind of why I wasn't even going to point it out at first, but uh, I just did for the sake of letting you guys know. But yeah, I like her bangs, her ponytail too, are, are one of my favorite parts of this 
figure. I do also want to point out something I'm very grateful for when it comes to this figure and the accessory uh, she comes with. At least the one I'm using, which is her little uh, book bag, which before I say what I'm grateful for, not a lot of shading on it, okay? Yeah, I guess that's another thing I don't like. I said I only didn't like three things, but I guess I found a fourth. <laughs> Going back what, to what I do like, and I don't know about the other accessories, I'm only speaking for the one that I'm using. She hangs on to it very well. I didn't have trouble putting it on her. I didn't have trouble putting it on her or having her hold it and keeping it that way and keeping it in place. She grabs onto the handle of her book bag pretty well and it's pretty snug and I am very grateful for that because you do not see that a lot in androids nowadays. So again, I'm not going to take out the other accessories like her eggs. Uh, they're pretty basic too. There's not a lot of shading on them, but I don't really think they need to have a ton of shading. I kind of like them without the shading. They look, I don't know, they look like plastic Easter eggs. And I don't know, I think I think it's a, I don't know. I kind of like it. I, li I like it. I just, I just wish the book bag, her book bag had more shading. All in all, I love her. I had her sit on my shelf for a little while and I came back to her and I decided that despite the flaws that I pointed out, I still really, really, really love her and I think she's really, really well made. And yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm stunned. I'm too stunned to speak. We got an Amu figure. What is next? Ikuto please. Thank you, Good Smile, and thank you guys for watching this video. Please, again, let me know what you think in the comment section below, and if you have a ma favorite magical girl that never got sculpted or uh, made into a figure, or I guess an android in this case, let me know. I'm very curious, because maybe, who knows, Good Smile might wake up one day and just, just choose to make that figure. You never know. Again, we got Amu. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video, which is hopefully, hopefully soon. Bye-bye, guys.